Hi there. So it is gonna be a really neat day today. Well, it's actually the same day as when you see me yesterday. I have the same clothes on. Uh, this is the same day, except later in the day, if that makes sense. But it's raining right now. I don't know if you can tell. And the sun is popping out. How cool is that? So I will be looking out for a rainbow, God's promise. And we're gonna continue gardening. I've got some more begonias. Oh, this feels so good. It's just a really light rain <laughs> and it feels so wonderful. No rainbow so far. But we're gonna continue planting those begonias and they're still out here. I went back inside and finished working for the day. And now I'm gonna go down and get my shovel because we're gonna plant the rest of these um, up around that maple tree there. And I need to kind of dig out the edge a little bit and give it a little bit more room. And then I think I'm gonna plant some over by my Newport plum tree over there. And then we'll see what we have left. But Honestly, by the time I get them planted out by this um, autumn blaze maple here, I feel like I'll use up the majority of the plants. So I'm gonna go head down to my shed. I don't know why, but sometimes I just forget words. I'm gonna head down to my shed and get my shovel <laughs> and we will start edging around that autumn blaze maple tree. Oh, where's my shovel? Probably somewhere <laughs> where I didn't put it away. Oh, I think it's still in the back of the gator from the other day. Let me go grab that. I might grab some uh, fertilizer real quick. I just got some all-purpose fertilizer that I got from Cherry Valley Gardens last year. Lizzie sold me on it. I'm not a huge fertilizer person, but she said it's great, so I thought I'd try to use it. But all right, let's go get going. The rain has stopped, and it, it was literally only about, I don't know, five minutes. The sun is out. I don't see a rainbow, but you never know. We might get one. Oh! Oh no, that's not a rainbow. It's just one of those cloud strips. Let's walk up through the gully. My new addition is looking beautiful. I sat there last night, drank some coffee, and I ate some, I know it's gonna sound weird, but some peanut butter on a spoon. <laughs> Sometimes I just want like a spoonful of peanut butter. I don't know why, but I just sat there and licked some peanut butter off of a spoon. So excited. I didn't even think that I might need the gator or some sort of container to put the sod in that I dig out. I'm not gonna come out too far. Honestly, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of off center. So I need to dig out at least I don't know, like another foot or so on that side. You can see the trunk of this tree is that way a little bit too far. Um, I don't know how that happened, but it did. So I need to fix that and then I and just dig out the edge a little bit better. But I need something to put the scraps in. Look how pretty. All right, I think I'm going to go back and get the gator. Right now, I do have my flip-flops on, which is my preferred garden shoe of choice. Uh, but if I'm gonna be digging out here, especially in this sad 
I really need to get some shoes on, unfortunately. So now I have to go put real big girl shoes on. Okay, I think I got all my stuff. <laughs> I get so excited to come out here and then I forget all the stuff that I need. But let's get a move on here. Better. You can see it's more centered in there. I took out a little bit around there and then I also went around the whole entire thing and dug the edge a little bit better. And if you couldn't tell by my lack of breath, it was hard work. Um, oh, there's lots of roots in there, so I, was, had to, so I had to be careful of those. And we're good to go now. <laughs> so for now, I'm just gonna go in and start planting begonias all the way around here. And I think I'll probably use up all of them. I just wanna jam pack, jam pack it full and make it look really nice. Sometimes when I'm planting annuals, I'll use my drill and a little auger that I attached to it that I just got from the Ace Hardware store. It was like $10. Uh, but since there's so many roots in this little area, um, it's really hard to use an auger when there's like rocks or roots or anything like that. Um, I've almost like sprung my wrist. Can you sprain your wrist? No, you sprain your ankle. No, you can sprain your wrist, right? Yeah, you can sprain your wrist. Anyway, I think I've almost like sprained my wrist trying to do it down in the gully before planting some bulbs. I'm just going to use my little spade and hand dig each hole and it'll be super old school and it'll be fun. I mean, I feel like if you're planting begonias, you're already kind of old school, like me. <laughs> uh, I grew up with my mom planting, um, well, that's probably why I like these plants so much, but I grew up with her planting geraniums, impatiens, begonias, marigolds. I, I like marigolds, I just, I don't know. This smell kind of gets to me a little bit, but they're beautiful and they're hardy, hardy annual, but. Okay. I should have enough. I'm just gonna pull back the mulch. You can already see all the little roots in here. Oh. Oh, there's a like little colony of ants I just stirred up. Aww, sorry guys. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, hard to life, I guess. Gosh, I almost feel like I should add some soil in here. I might go get some buckets of soil that I've got down below because it's so rooty in here. And I just really want to give these um, begonias a fighting chance. So I'm gonna go collect some soil down below. Actually, I think I have a better idea. I'm going to collect some soil from my raised garden beds because this year I want to redo that entire section down there and I'm gonna need to get some of that soil out of there. So we'll just kill two birds, yeah, two birds with one stone, is that how it goes? <laughs> kill two birds with one stone and take that soil that needs to be removed. Anyway. While I'm back here, I'll show you guys my clematis that's blooming. I'm pretty sure this is a Nellie Moser clematis. And they got tons of buds on it. 
it's looking really cool. And then back here is my butter burr. And a lot of you have been asking how that is doing. It is looking great. I love it. The nice thing about this is this plant can really be aggressive in your garden, um, but it gets quite a bit of sun actually. And I feel like the sun um, helps hold it back from getting too aggressive because usually about midday, it's really struggling. It kind of gets a little weepy and sad. And I think that that helps with kind of holding that plant back. So we'll keep an eye on it, but um, I think it's really, really neat little backdrop to this kind of messy area where I throw on my dump. But I'm gonna be collecting some of this soil in here because I eventually want to remove these three beds that have been in here for ages. They're falling apart and I wanna redo them and just put one there going this way and then one here going this way. I mean, this one is all pretty much going the way I want it. I just want it to line up with my arbor there. So, you know, I won't be using all this soil in here so I can I can use it up there. Oh my, a lot of my stuff. So it's nice to have this butter bear here because you don't even see it. out mowing their lawns including Nate so it might get loud but basically what I'm doing is just adding some nice soil in here that way the plants have kind of a little bit of soil to root into and um, yeah I'll probably go get another load I filled up three bucket bowls and just lay it on nice and thick I don't remember, but they were super small and um, just didn't do as well as they usually do. But I think it's because this bed has just continually got more and more and more root bound and there was really nothing for them to grow into. So this at least gives them like a couple, two, three inches to, to grow in.
Nate out and I mowed my path. Um, it looks pretty good for the most part but usually he does the mower and then the weed whip on the side so at least I got the majority of it. He's going to go through and get the edges where I couldn't get with the mower because of the rocks. So um, while he's getting that I'll show you my Nelly Moser. I think it's a Nelly Moser. No. I can't remember what kind it is, but it's blooming. What's the matter? Blooming. But the path looks alright. I'm gonna sit on my bench and watch him.
My pack looks really nice and clean and neat, thanks to Sweet Nady. And I'm going to take you up here to this maple tree bed. It looks a lot better. I did run into a one of the bags of mulch had moldy mulch in it and it turns white like that. It's fine. It it'll just kind of wash off. So I'm not too worried about it. It's just it just doesn't look as nice and black and fresh as it should. Um, but it's a lot more even and the annuals have nice soil to grow in and they've been watered and I'm so excited that I planted those salvia last year and I was hoping that they would come back and they did sure enough so this should be hopefully beautiful uh well it is already beautiful in its own right it's just really small but it will it will get there thanks Nanny. well that's a wrap we are probably gonna have to see you next time, hopefully. Uh, I appreciate you guys poking on the smoothie and hanging out with me at, I was gonna say at the greenhouse because that was earlier today, but you probably hopefully seen that yesterday. <laughs> it's a little confusing. Uh, but anyway, I appreciate that. And I also appreciate you coming back out here with me to just kind of get this bed wrapped up and in order. And I got two bags of mulch laid, so that's good got all that to go but at least we are making progress so anyway hope that you have a wonderful day and, and I hope that you're enjoying these precious moments out in your garden uh, as much as I am here at mine so I hope us I hope to see you next time bye oh I almost forgot these are how many begonias I have left I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine begonias left so that'll look really pretty somewhere I'm actually gonna um, keep them out on my deck and hopefully they grow a little bit bigger these were kind of the smallest ones that I had so maybe they'll put on a little bit more size and then I'll find somewhere to plant them see you later